Guys, so as Arcane Season 2 comes out, sorry I didn't do my intro properly, what is up with Phil Pack? Today we're going to be talking about Arcane. Now, as soon as Arcane Season 2 was announced, I was super happy. For some reason, a part of me was worried that they weren't going to do Season 2 until like 2025, considering that the first season was announced so long ago and then only came out recently. But that's besides the point. I would I would have done a trailer reaction, but I had already watched it on my own. So yeah. Anyway, um I want to talk about season one though. And here's the thing that people missed. So I saw a analysis of the different characters from Arcane, and a lot of them always said that Jinx only cared about Vi. Like it was Vi this, Vi that, and all she ever cared, the only family member she really cared about was Vi. However, that's not the case, and I can tell you why. The fact that she's hallucinating Clagger and Milo and actually showing grief is enough proof that she did care about them to make me say that she did love them. She did care about them. And, and she's not just some crazy lunatic anymore that needs attention. She actually feels bad. So I think that, although yes, she does have abandonment issues, she's also feeling bad about her mistakes um, of what she did to Clagger and Milo. Uh, but somebody just needs to fucking tell her that that it wasn't, I mean, it was her fault, but like she didn't mean to, she was just a kid. Nobody tells her that, not even Silco. They just tell her that, oh, you're perfect, like, like, I'm sorry that I left you. She doesn't need to hear that, okay? She doesn't need more lies. She needs to hear that what what happened in the past uh, won't affect her as a person. They need to tell her that she's okay, that she... That what happened in the past wasn't really her fault. Even though it was, she didn't listen to anybody, that's the problem, but it's not really her fault that this stuff happened the way they happened. It's just like a matter of um, environment death, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, so a lot of people are getting, what I, in my opinion, I think they're getting Jinx's character wrong, that... Yeah, sure, she seeks Vi's approval a lot of the time. But to say that she only cares about Vi... Uh, because of one clip at the beginning of the show where she didn't really even cry about her parents being dead. She's a child. Like... Okay, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna talk about my own experience, but... Kids tend to not process death like others. Like, Vi, Vi, I think, was, like, 10 years older than, than Powder in that, in that scene. And I think she still is 10 years older. I think, I think it was confirmed that Jinx is now 16 and, like, Vi's, I don't, I don't know. But, anyway... What I'm trying to say is that Jinx was a kid back in the day and Vi was a teenager. You tend to process death better as a teenager than a kid. So, yeah. Uh, I've seen a ton of kids who lost parents and haven't really processed it and, like, didn't really cry over the death because they didn't understand what was going on um, until later on. So, yeah. Um, and that little look that she does to Vi was, like, to comfort her. 
because she didn't know why Vi was crying, but like, yeah. Uh, so using that as evidence that she doesn't care about anybody else but herself and Vi, not really, not really evident, not really good enough evidence. Um, and the fact that she has, she literally made plushes and a mannequin of Milo and Clagger. It's just, again, enough proof. Uh, unless more stuff comes out in season two about her only liking or only caring about Vi, uh, then I'll shut up. But until then, a lot of the videos t saying that she only cares about Vi is just wrong. But anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I thought that I'd just talk about this as I'm re as I'm rewatching Arcane for like the 90th time in the span of the three years that this show has been out. Um, yeah. Crazy. Uh, but I'm rewatching it, you know, even though I know the show by heart. I'm rewatching it for the celebration of uh, season two coming out, even though I have an entire neck, uh, an, I have an entire month to watch it, but I'm rewatching it. But yeah, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. See ya.